Hello guys, it's Shrim Time here and today it won't be a nice video. It won't be a happy shrimp keeping uh, video. It will be rather a frustrating video. I think uh, that is quite common in, here in Poland about uh, keeping shrimps and about buying new shrimps for your breeding room. And the main topic of today's video is the quality of sh the quality of the shrimps we buy and the scams that we got a lot on shrimp keeping market. I hope that that you have never uh, got scammed uh, while buying uh, the shrimps, but but I think that are some major factors we need to speak about uh, when we uh, decide to buy shrimps. So today's video will be about those factors and uh, in today's video I will show you an example of scam that I got in my recent shrimp keeping history. Uh, I wrote about that on my Patreon page, so if you uh, would like to support me and be uh, and get the latest information or talk with me, you can uh, subscribe me on Patreon. But getting back to the topic, you know, every hobbyist that start to keep shrimps usually want to have the best looking shrimps, the best great shrimps and will try to achieve that goal in different ways. Yeah, so some people can afford high grade shrimps in a big amount, so some have problems with affording that high grade shrimps and try to get uh, to higher grades by selective breeding and culling shrimps. Unfortunately, you have to start at certain point and usually you will make the decision about the amount of shrimps and about the quality of shrimps you buy. And that decision is crucial to the way that you will keep your tank, keep your selective breeding, uh, keep your culling uh, process. Uh, it all will be defined by the shrimps that you will start with. It is obvious that if you get the higher grade, better genetic shrimps, you will have easier way to get the to, to the top grade. Yeah, because you will start on the higher level. Your road to this ideal this great shrimp will be shorter. But if you want to start at cent search a, a, at a defined level, yeah, if you want to start, for example, at PRL, pure red line shrimp, at middle grade, yeah, you firstly need to know what the real middle grade grade is this is the first problem the second problem you need to get those shrimps yeah because uh, in past uh, i would say that that it was quite safe that the quality went uh, with the price nowadays unfortunately the quality, uh, there are many, many times in the shrimp breeding hobby that somebody says that, that he got the defined level of quality of his shrimps. Uh, he got the price that is okay for that quality. And when you buy that shrimps online, you will get the shrimps with lower quality or you will get shrimps with weak genetics because the phenotype the way that shrimps looks is the one factor the second factor is the look of whole pack of the shrimps you know because 
you can get shrimps with very good look that look like high grade shrimps and that will breed a lot of cooling shrimps of shrimps that you have to take out of the tank and this is usually due to the fact that some breeders keep their line with other types of shrimps but nowadays the problem is even harder because somebody will say you that he get the defined grade of the shrimps he will price them for a decent amount of money and he will send you the shrimps of lower grade and will try to convince you that those shrimps you bought are the great uh, that he told to you and he will say to you that people grade differently shrimps that if you want high grade you have to pay more etc etc and uh, for me this type of behavior is a scam and now to the example my friends you can stop this video right now and write in comment what is the grading of this red fancy tiger shrimp you can guess what is the grading of the shrimp you also can ask me why the shrimp is in uh, the rest tank uh, like german calls this tank the cooling tank yeah my friends the answer is that this shrimp was sold to me as red fancy high or using the asian grade red fancy ss shrimp i had a very long talk with the seller before purchasing and paying for the shrimp when he convinced me that he get he got a certain line of shrimps that the level is high we dis discussed the price we agreed at the price at the precise level of the price and that i will get the shrimps at ss grade and the shrimps i got are just sorry but for me there are junks we get a lot of transparent body we don't have a nice white we don't have the nice red we don't have the beautiful pattern of a uh, fancy tiger shrimp the pattern that we try to achieve and this problem occurs very often if you want to compare this is the ss great shrimp i got it from a very good breeder uh, that i always convinced that i will get the shrimps from him uh, at the grade i will order on or a little or, or i will get a little difference in the grading for example like here the pattern isn't so good but still the whites are okay uh, we don't have a lot of transparency etc unfortunately uh, there is I think that there's a lack of breeders that the most that feel the most important thing about shrimp breeding and trading the shrimps they got is to support the high and honest quality great shrimps for example like this male it's something between s and 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 ss the legs could be better but you have to remember that males usually are colored a bit worse than females but still you got a very big difference between the red fancy i showed to you at the start of this part of video and the red fancy that you look at uh, at them now yeah and for me this type of behavior uh, the scamming behavior is very bad for the hobby on the one hand the hobbies that buy those shrimps and is scammed he can say okay no thank you 
I will leave this hobby. I don't want to 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 keep shrimps because people in the shrimp hobby are scammers. On the other hand, a lot of young hobbyists, a lot of people that start shrimp breeding will get this problem that they will be teached wrong. Yeah, the the breeders will try to convince them that worse grading shrimp is a higher grade shrimp. The lower grade shrimp is a higher grade shrimp. Uh, they will convince them that, uh, for example, pure red line sh shrimp of high grade doesn't have to have the most, the majority of legs in pigment or they will convince them that galaxy uh, pinto shrimp is a galaxy fishbone shrimp or very common problem now on the market that something that is high uh, galaxy fishbone is a boa shrimp and those people will do the same mistake to another hobbyist that will start the passion, that will start to buy shrimps. Yeah, they will also tell to their customers, their friends, you know, this shrimp is a high grade. Yeah, and this shrimp is an even higher grade. This problem also have an influence on the shrimp pricing. No, the, for example, in Poland, there is a very big difference between the pricing of certain types of shrimps. You know, for example, pure red line in Poland, uh, the high pure red line can be sold for 10 euros or for example, $10 and for 40, $50. Yeah. And the people that don't have this high knowledge about grading shrimps uh, will not be sure from what is the difference in the price and they will think that the, the shrimps they buy in the lower price are honest price of the shrimps, yeah? Another very big problem is that uh, breeders shows the pictures of shrimps that they got, uh, the shrimps that they sell, the uh, previ previous generation. And many times, for example, in first three or four photos are the pictures of adults. And the last photo uh, is the picture of the shrimp that they sell. And some of the breeders even doesn't say that, you know, the first four pictures are the pictures of adults. And if you want to get those shrimps, uh, you buy from me to that high grade, you need to devote, for example, two years of work because you will get the shrimps I cult from the tank that I take of the tank because I didn't like the way they look. And I think that this is a very important topic. And I think that uh, you should ask if you buy shrimps, if you are not sure what you get, you should always ask on forums, on groups. Uh, you should give those questions to YouTubers, to, to people that judge on the shrimp contests. You need to ask, hey man, I bought this type of shrimp. The seller told me that this is galaxy fishbone high shrimp. Is it true? And you know, I, I can agree that breeders can have the different type of gradation of those shrimps, but you have the universal patterns of those shrimps, sorry you have the universal patterns of those shrimps 
And when you see those patterns, you can have the difference about 10, 15 per percent of the look, not like 90, 80% of the look, you know, just, just a little bit of difference is okay, but you cannot convince me that one breeder can say that, uh, for example, this type of shrimp, that one uh, breeder can say that this type of shrimp is a premium galaxy fish bone, and other will, will say that this type of shrimps is low galaxy uh, pinto shrimp. You know, you cannot have this difference because there are some rules which are, which are on whole world. Okay, thank you. It's, uh, I think it's all for today. I want to thank you for watching this video. Leave me a comment, leave me a thumbs up if you like this video and to the next uh, video.